the Biden administration's opposition to the SAVE bill, which mandates proof of citizenship for voting, is stirring concerns about election integrity. With around 85% of Americans backing such measures, many see the bill as a vital step toward ensuring free and fair elections. The White House's dismissal of the bill as a partisan poison bill is interpreted as resistance to safeguarding the electoral process despite overwhelming public support. So a couple of things. I think the SAP, I think the SAP went out. So certainly would, uh, uh, would, would uh, uh, direct you to that uh, that came out of the, this administration. But with the end of the fiscal year rapidly approaching, obviously by the end of this, of this month in September, uh, Congress needs to pass a short uh, term continuing resolution to provide more time to pass full year funding bills. Uh, we urge Congress to do this quickly, to pass this quickly, to keep the government open. It is really easy. It's like their number one job. They know how to do this to keep the government open and provide that emergency funding for disaster needs. I just talked about that at the top, uh, about the needs that we're, we're having just right now out West, as they have done on a bipartisan basis. They've done this before many times in the past. They need to get this done. Uh, the proposal from House Republicans is not a solution. It's just not. Uh, it contains a partisan poison bill. Would erode this opposition to voter ID requirements feeds into a broader narrative of excessive government intervention and a perceived erosion of transparency, fueling suspicion about political motives. Given that many countries already enforce voter ID policies, the public sympathy for such safeguards grows as they're viewed as crucial to preventing fraud and reinforcing the legitimacy of the democratic system. Public comments like, the only reason you oppose this is to cheat. Reflect fears that without strict voter ID laws, the system is open to manipulation. The core issue for many is whether the democratic process is being upheld according to its fundamental principles. The debate centers on balancing individual rights with securing the election system, and the leadership's failure to implement widely supported security measures is seen as a refusal to address concerns about trust, accountability, and the authenticity of governance. 